God bless you, brothers and sisters. This is Donna. This is Foundation of Your Temple, Part 3. I want to give praise and glory <clears throat> to the Most High God, Yeshua HaMashiach, for the revelation, wisdom, knowledge <clears throat> of your scriptures. I thank you for your for always guiding me, teaching me, correcting me, loving me, forgiving me of my sins. We all fall short of the glory of God, but we must pick up our cross daily and follow you. I praise you. I lift your name on high. I bind Satan and all his demonic entities that try to hinder, afflict, torment, oppress, depress, or shoot fire darts to any of the listeners in Jesus' holy name. As all sins have been covered by the blood and all curses have been nailed to the cross and I thank you Lord <clears throat> for your sacrifice and I and I claim John 15 7 that I I abide in you and your words abide in me father that I can ask you anything in Jesus name it will be granted also to me John 15 7 and John 14 12 13 14 so father I ask that each and every person who hears this message that this word falls on good ground convict them of their sins draw them further into the kingdom of heaven and that they seek you for all truth wisdom and knowledge and revelation of your holy scriptures John 6 44 and 45 I give you all praise glory and honor I thank you for this revelation and thank you for the teaching <clears throat> this is part three part three of the foundation of your temple i'm continuing on with exodus 20 1 through 5 the ten commandments before i read the exodus i'm going to speak about the ten commandments it says the ten commandments are love the lord thy god with all your heart mind soul and strength love thy neighbor as you love your thyself do not commit adultery do not murder do not bear false witness do not defraud do not steal honor your mother your father obey the sabbath abstain from things polluted by idols from sexual immorality from things strangled and from blood Exodus 20, 1 through 5. <clears throat> I ask the Holy Spirit to speak through me. As I decrease, I ask the Holy Spirit to increase. In Jesus' name, I thank you. And God spoke all these things, saying, I am the Lord thy God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You, have, you shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make yourself a card image, any likeness of any anything that is in the heavens above or that is in the earth beneath, that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them nor serve them, for I am the Lord I am a jealous God, visiting the inequity of our fathers upon the, upon the children to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me. I want to stop right there because I realize the way I'm speaking. Please do not think that um, I'm speaking down. But sometimes I have to slow my brain down because my I, I speak sometimes faster than what I'm reading. And I, I must try, I, I've been trying to slow my brain down to allow, one, the spirit to move through me, for me to slow it down to get the message out properly. Okay, so please, if I, my last video, I know I did that and I forgot to say prior that um i'm trying to do that for me has has no bearing on anybody this is my character defect that i have in me that i'm trying to overcome um there's time to i will switch words around so i'm a, i have to sometimes slow what i'm speaking so please forgive me and bear with me okay thank you i really appreciate that Okay, now God says here, we should not have no other gods before us. 
We should not bow down and serve them for he's a jealous God. And then he says, he will visit the inequity of the fathers, meaning us and even our forefathers upon the children to the third and fourth generation, those who hate me, meaning those who hate his commandments and hate God's commandments, that we rebel against them. Rebellion is a witchcraft spirit. And if you have that, rebuke it in Jesus' name. Repent of it, rebuke it, and cast it to the wilderness in Jesus' name. Now, this says any, any sin from the third to the your, the, any sin that we don't repent of will follow us from us to our third generation of children. Please bear in mind, and now I'm going to say in Acts 15 20, this is another reference to prove a point because I'm going to be going back from old scripture to new scripture. And my point is what I'm showing here is that the Lord wanted me to bring forth is that Old Testament and New Testament are exactly the same. And the lies of the devil is that God says his new and only commandment is that you love lo the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And you love your neighbor as you love yourself. Okay. Yes, that was the new covenant which he gave us. But he he says anyone who walks in the flesh, we're in condemnation of judgment. So we're in the flesh. That means the sins. We're in sin. The whole the whole law applies. The whole law of Moses applies. So please bear in mind that. So when God says walk in the Spirit, there's no law. When we master that, that's my goal. I mean, I'm fighting, I'm fighting every day and I, I dealing with this because I choose not to be in bondage anymore because I've been bondage for over, what, 43 years, 40, maybe longer, 45 years of bondage of Satan. And today I choose to be free and set free. Okay. <clears throat> So as I continue on, you will see how the Lord is showing you how what I just stated applies. Please be bear with me with all the teachings because you're if you get disgusted and you don't like the teaching, you're not going to understand it if you shut it off and not follow through because this is coming from Yeshua HaMashiach. He's the one who taught me, guided me uh, for eight months now and raised me from the dead. And I diligently wrote down these scriptures and been abiding in the Lord. And now I'm sharing it with you because the bride of Christ must be ready and get ready. Because remember, Lord says, few are taken because a lot of us are not willing to crucify ourselves. Okay, Acts fifteen twenty. it says, But that we write to them to abstain from things polluted by idols, from sexual immorality, and from things strangled, and from blood. Okay, that's exactly uh, what the Lord was saying in um, Exodus 20, 1 through 5. Abstain from these things. Old covenant and new covenant. Leviticus 26, 14 to 18. But if you do not obey me and do not observe all these commandments, and if you despise my statutes, and if your soul abhors, that means detest my judgments, so that you do not perform all my commandments, but break my covenant, I also will do this to you. I will even appoint terror over you. Who's the terror? Who do we deal with? We're not dealing with flesh and bones. You know, God is spirit and we, and we worship him in spirit and truth. And we're talking about the spiritual law of God. And this holy scriptures have a literal meaning and a spiritual meaning. And spiritual law, sp spiritual and literal law okay so please bear in mind God says we're dealing with Ephesians 6 the evil 
principalities of this world and wickedness and powers um, of darkness. Okay, so he says, I also will do this to you. I will even appoint terror over you, a wasting disease a f and fever, which shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart. And you shall sow your seed in vain. The seed is the word, the word of God. And we're supposed to be sowing it. We're supposed to be living it. We're supposed to be walking it. Don't sow it in vain, the Lord's saying. For your enemy shall eat it. The enemy, the devil. He'll take what you have and, and take it away from you. What you learn, he'll take away if it's not planted on good soil. Be planted on the good soil by striving by crucifying your flesh, by seeking the Lord, by trying to walk holy, trying to uh, cleanse your temple of all demonic strongholds that bound you in sin and chains. Be free from it. Be filled with the Spirit. Okay, so he says, For your enemies shall eat it. I will set my face against you, and you shall be defeated by your enemies. Thus, who hates you shall reign over you, and you shall flee when no one pursues you. Who hates us? The devil. Why? Because we are God's children. God, anyone who's striving to walk in righteousness, striving to walk in the spirit, striving to follow God's commandments, the enemy will come against us. That's a given. That is a given fact because remember, we are supposed to be a mirror image of Christ. We are supposed to be walk this earth. We are little Jesuses walking the earth. We are not God. God dwells within us. But we should be a representation of Christ. He says, imitate me. Be holy for I am holy. He says, um, as we look in the mirror, we should be looking in in the mirror and seeing Christ because we should be mastering those nine fruits of the spirit. And anytime that we are trying to do this or know the scriptures and we have it in our heart, the devil of hell is going to come against us. And we must pick up our armor of God and, and push forward and rebuke the devil. When we, we must know who we are in the body of Christ. We must pick up our cross. We must know that the devil is going to come at us. He's going to tell us that we are not worthy, that we must come, you know, we must, um, we're not worthy that, uh, God has chosen someone else or you're not smart enough. These are all the devils of the lie. This is, this is our cardinal mind that we're fighting that the devil throws in, in our head constantly. You know, we've received messages three ways, three ways from ourself, from God and from the devil. We must discern, we, we, by crucifying our flesh, be filled with the spirit, must know the word of God. We must hear the word of God. It says, God says, my sheep know my voice. And we must constantly be trying to be filled with the spirit, to walk in the spirit so that we don't fall and that the darkness be attached to us. And then we ask ourselves, who are we yielding to the darkness or the spirit? Who are we fighting? We're fighting the evil principalities of this world. And that's given because we are children of God because we accept that God is our, our creator. So through trials and tribulation, through storms, to the fire, through the purification of God, because God will test our spirits. God will test our faith because God says when he comes back, will he find faith on this earth? And I struggle with it every day. I, I keep picking up my cross. I keep following and I stand on the promises of the Lord. I keep rebuking the devil and tell him I have the authority over him. That which is given unto me. Luke 10, 19, 20. Satan, I'm without sin. So you must obey. 
these are the things that we must know this is the thing if we are in sin and we're going to know if we got an attachment because we will get either a backache or a runny nose or we have a headache or we our moods have changed that knows we open the door to the darkness we must shut it rebuke it after repentance we rebuke it cast it to the wilderness God says we have that authority. God says he made us disciples. Matthew 10, 10. He made us disciples. We have the Holy Spirit. We are disciples. We must be doing the will of God. We must be going out and preaching the word of God. We must be going and setting the captives free. We must be laying hands, casting out and raising the dead in Jesus' holy name. We must get back to the book of Acts. Holy, holiness, I praise you and I glorify your holy name. I thank you, Lord. God says in, in Matthew 16, 16, 17, 18, those who believe are saved, those who don't are condemned. These signs will follow for those who believe. You will cast out demons, raise the dead, heal the sick, and nothing deadly will harm you. That is scripture for you to cast out demons. Matthew 16, 17, 18. Cast it to the wilderness in Jesus' name. I believe that I stand on firm on the Most High God. I thank you, Lord, for your promises. I thank you for your sacrifice on the cross. I thank you for your scriptures, your, your revelations. I thank you for speaking through me. I praise you and I glorify your holy name. I thank you and I love you and I praise you. I praise you and glorify you. I thank you, Father, for your precious son. I thank you for his sacrifice. I thank you for the Holy Spirit, the Godhead, the one true living God, the great I am who came off the throne for us. I praise you and I glorify you. I thank you this day I serve the God, the God of the living. And I'm going to close with this. Nahum, <clears throat> chapter 1, verse 2 and 3, God's wrath on his enemies. God is a jealous God. God is jealous and on and the Lord avenges the Lord avenges and is furious the Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries that's even us that is us when we transgress against his laws and he reserves wrath for his enemies the Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit okay, I'm sorry and will not at all acquit the wicked i praise you i glorify you i thank you lord i'm going to end on on nahem one two please seek discernment wisdom and revelation i thank you lord for speaking through me all glory and praise to the most high god yeshua hamashiach god bless you good night